What's up everybody and welcome back to another Tusker Gaming video. Today we're doing something kind of different that I promised you if you were on the Discord server you would know. Today I'm showing off one of my birthday presents which I got not too long ago and the reason why I have these is because I will not be able to hear my Super Nintendo Classic. Now I wanted to show this off just because it comes with a game that has not been released anywhere else. So the Super Nintendo Classic is a basically an emulator that Nintendo has released for an expensive amount of money. It's around $80 US. And basically, it comes with 22 games, one of which you have to unlock, but we'll get into that later. 22 games that basically hit you right up beside the head with nostalgia. And I can get behind that. I mean, I love this little thing. I've put this thing to the test the last two days that I've had it. And the best part about this is that it comes with two uh, Super Nintendo controllers to plug in. Now, I don't know if this will work with the Wii. However, I know for a fact that it has this little adapter which you would plug into a Wii mount. So maybe it will work. So basically to plug it in, you pop open this little tray here at the bottom and you plug it into port one. Now it comes with two controllers, which is really nice because you and a friend can play or you and someone else can play and oh my God, I got so many wires. So when you load up the Super Nintendo Classic, it will give you an option for you to choose your language and so on. And then it introduces you to this screen. Now, the screen basically shows you all of the games that you can play on the emulator. And if I counted right, there is 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, 21. I'm sorry. So it comes with 20 and then you have to unlock the 21st one. But that's the whole reason we're here today. We're here to play the 21st game that you have to unlock. Now, to, in order to unlock this new game, you have to play the first stage on Star Fox, the original. But today we're gonna to be playing Star Fox 2, a game that was never released and is only on the Nintendo Classic. And growing up, I played Star Fox 64. I am no good at Star Fox. I can tell you that for a fact. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my levels correct. I can't, ah, oh, it's hard to mix. But um, I, I never played it, these, these original ones growing up. And I'm sure this is supposed to mean something to me. However, it doesn't. So we're just gonna skip and, is there just not even a load screen? Star Fox. So this game was intended to be on the Super Nintendo. However, it was never released and it is my duty as a YouTuber to figure out, okay, so B is to go. Normal, okay. I don't know controls. I shall return, I shall make something something, inhabitants of Cornea. You shall fear me. I will dominate my awesome power of all. Okay, okay, so where do we go? I'm assuming to one of these areas. Star Fox team, do you read me? I have trouble news. Our sworn enemy, the fiend Adros, is alive. He's there, where the big yellow pointy is. Even as we speak, he is launching an assault on Gornia. The battle carriers and attack forces of Adros are advancing on Cornea. Enemy bosses have established on overrun planets. Planetary missiles will be fired from these enemy bases. Once again, we must ask you for your assistance, Star Fox. Cornea will save, or Cornea will survive if sustained minor damage, but if damage reaches 100%, it's all over. Engage forces of Andros while the same time keeping Damage Cornea at the lowest level possible. Good luck. Awesome. So now can we jump into the midst of it? Oh, oh, I get to pick who I want to be. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Oh, okay. Up or down, up. That makes a bunch of sense. Oh, wait, up and, yeah. Why, why, why? Uh, boost, special, break, blaster. Yeah, that one looks good. Um, who should I be? Froggy or Slippy? Mew, which is a minx. Faye, which is a sheep. I'm Peppy. Buns, I'm gonna do you well. We're gonna be Peppy. Let's stop here, Star Fox. 
Oh, and it lo oh, it looks like it's a two-player game. Oh, who do I want as my partner? Uh, let's do Faye. Where am I going? Select the nation. Remember the cursor and pressing the B button. Uh, to engage an enemy, land on the planet and intercept ships. Switch positions by switching to wingman. Okay, return to your mothership and warp for any free planet. Okay, well, we'll go here. Oh, did I just have to enter? Okay, so this is more like spur of the, oh, it's first person. Okay. Oh, okay, press Y to you will activate your boosters. That's great. How do I target? I mean, I can dodge, but can I like go back into first person or third person? That'd be great if I could. Ow, did I win? Yeah, clear time. I was timed? God, I suck. Let's intercept you. I'm sorry, Cornea. Take a damage. Okay, I don't think there's a wave to go third person. Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, view one, two, view two. Oh, you can go, awesome. So you can go third person. Two more. Awesome. I wonder if they, if they, if they fix the whole uh, do a barrel roll. Because believe it or not, that's not actually a Barrett roll. It's not a barrel roll. My uh, brother-in-law is really big into the airplanes. And he corrected me, but I don't remember what exactly it's called. I don't know, I think I like this one better than Star Fox, the uh, 64, or not the 64 version. The Star Fox, Fox the 64 version was pretty fun. Don't get me wrong, 24 damage? Good God. I'm Pigma, the, uh, oh. Okay, I think I like the, the first person a little bit better, so I'm gonna stay in first person because it makes me feel like I'm actually in the, Midst of it all, you know? Oh, take it! Mm. Oh, I, I I boosted. Oh, oh, shnikes. Oh, shnikes. Oh, shnikes. Oh, jeez. Oh, take my special. Come on, bring it on, big boy. I can take you. Oh. I'm sorry. Press Y to activate your boosters. No, I don't want to activate my boosters. I want to activate my special. Oh, pigma. Pigma. Oh, Pigma! Bring it on, Boyle! Bring it on, bring it on, Pigma, Pigma! Oh, come on, bring it on, my friend! Oh, bring it on! Oh, uh, he's almost dead, which is good. Which is a good! I'm doing a thing! Stop it! Don't tell me how to use my boosters! I don't want to use my boosters! I am, I am, I am so good right now. Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh, come on! You're so lucky, I don't know how to use my special. Was that my special? <laughs> oh. Oh my god, Faye, can you tell me something different? My lord. Come on, I gotta beat Pigma. I gotta beat him. I gotta beat him within an inch of his life. Oh, if I could hit him. Pigma's defeated? Yes. So, quite frankly, I think, personally, I like this version of um, Star Fox a little bit better. I think I can get into this version. I wasn't really a big fan of... Oh, God. So, if you're done playing a game, you take it, and just like the original, you slide reset. And it should take you right back. Just like that. Suspended points. Wait, what are you doing? Did I tell you to do that? No. Reset. Okay. And basically, if you go, if I press down, it will take me to, oh, I can save? 
that's really cool. It lets you create uh, snapshots so you can go back. But there's so many games like the original Mario Kart and uh, Super Mario RPG, Super, Mar uh, Super Mario World, uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I've been playing that one uh, a lot. I've been playing that a lot. But this, in my opinion, was the $80 worth it? Well, basically what this is, is a retro pie. My brother-in-law has informed me that basically it's a retro pie. It would cost the same amount to build this and put it together. So, I mean, with a retro pie, you can get more games. However, you have to torrent the games to get them or just download them from a regular site. And that's kind of illegal. So this way you know you get the security of it and no one's gonna come knocking at your door. I mean, I like I like this because it comes with actual, uh, I'm sorry, I almost dropped my Super Nintendo. You stayed right there, baby. It actually, it comes with two of these, which you don't have to program. You just plug and play right off the bat. And I just love it. And I think that's probably one of the coolest things about this is just how plug and play it is. The ease of it has Mega Man X. That's so cool, I love Mega Man X. I mean, I have a lot of these on my Wii U. Um, now, this upscales to 1080p. So, I mean, I don't think my Wii U upscales to 1080p. I think my Wii U is only goes up to 720. So it's really cool that this actually hits 1080p. My monitor right now is only 720, I know, pleb. But, that's something really cool about this that I really like. Oh, Yoshi's Island. What, Yoshi's Island was considered Super Mario World 2? I thought it was its own game. I don't know. See, you learn you learn new things about this all the time. So, that's my review of the Super Nintendo Classic. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoy this. So, if you want, I believe you can get them on Amazon for around fifty dollars, even. Um, Walmart's selling them for ninety, I believe. GameStop is selling them for eighty, seventy-five refurbished. You don't get any power-up codes or anything like that. But it's been really cool playing this, and I enjoy it to bits. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know down in the comments below if there's other things you want me to review. I'll do it. I like I like these little tiny like little tiny reviews. But I, anyway, if you like this, let me know down in the Discord server. It's down in the description. But until then, I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.